Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Astley of jonathanastley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, why does he think I'm crazy? <laughs> the truth, why do men think you're crazy? All right, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be no notified of new content. I shoot about three or four videos per week. All right, our topic, why does he think I'm crazy? Ah! <laughs> I like to be dramatic. So ladies, have you ever heard this before? Has a man ever called you crazy? Well, I want to share with you how we view this all from the male perspective. So the way I've interpreted this, it looks like the following. Most men's capacity to express their emotions are probably at a level of two, th we'll go from here, two, three, or four. Okay. Two, three, or four. Okay. Whereas a woman's capacity to share her emotions is probably seven, eight, nine, or 10, or even higher. <laughs> Thank God there was no armpit stain there. Uh, <laughs> okay, so men are at a two, three, or four, women up here. That space in between, that space in between is what I call drama. Drama, drama, drama. In other words, it's usually the expectation that a man is at this level when his real capacity at this level. I like the way Alison Armstrong, if you're not familiar with her work, she has a, something called the PAX program, but she says, women have an expectation of men being hairy versions of themselves. In other words, there's already this preordained expectation that men are going to communicate on an emotional level at your level. And so the minute you have this expectation, that, that expectation isn't met, all of that space in between oftentimes shows up as drama. And we men see, you know, you've, you've seen the dating apps, you've seen the dating apps, you're swiping and a guy says, I want no drama. That's because your level of expectation of, communi of emotional communication is here when his capacity is here. All right, so first let's understand that this is how men view things, okay? In addition, we operate from the perspective of hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. This is one of the reasons why men are even afraid to share how they feel about relationship, especially if it's not positive, because we have this expectation that you're gonna be in chaos, that you're gonna be all over the map, okay? So now we understand the male perspective, why this happens. Now the reality is this, the reality is this, is most of the time anxious women are choosing avoidant men. Anxious women are choosing avoidant men. And if you're not familiar with the book, Attached, Attached, this talks in detail about what's something called love attachment style. So you're attached to a guy most likely you're an anxious personality. He's an avoidant personality or love attachment style, style. And that anxiousness is what's creating all the chaos. So I wanna introduce you to a new book to help you heal from this, not just reading this book, but I would like to introduce you to a new book and everyone knows I'm all about reading books. It's a book and I've mentioned this in previous videos called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza. This will help you tremendously in breaking that old pattern of being chaotic, as being overly dramatic. From the, by the way, even though men may perceive you this way, there's a good chance that you are ap operating in a way that's crazy. So breaking the habit of being yourself which really piggybacks on my book called What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? There by Jonathan Asley. This is all learning how to love on oneself. By the way, check out the link in the Jonathan Recommend books. I recommend all these books for a reason because I'm not here to sell you on some big gigantic program. I'm here to introduce you to do the work yourself. And there's a book I've read God, it, it, it really touches me even just thinking about this right now that changed my life. And that's the book I want to introduce you to today. I want you to check out the book, The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. Why you have to read this book is because it's about learning inner peace. Inner peace. Because the chaos that's inside of you comes out to men 
And, and by the way, guys should be doing this work too. Ladies, I'm not here to make it singular that you have to do all the work. Men should be doing this work as well. This is why I invite you to inspire a guy, inspire a guy by reading this material yourself. And if you're in relationship, you know, recommend this for him as well. Because if his penis is regularly in your vagina, you have every right to ask for a co-creative relationship together. Now listen, if you want a casual relationship, that's fine with you, but I'm not a big proponent of casual relationships because it's gonna create a lot of turmoil later on down the road. I'm a big proponent of co-creative relationships, co-creative relationships. This is why if you're gonna be having sex with a guy on a regular basis, read the book, Eight Dates by Don John Gottman and Julie Gottman. This is the mechanics to a healthy, happy relationship. Stop fucking around. Let's stop being so naive and passive in our dating lives. Because ladies, look at you're frustrated. You're frustrated because you're expecting men to lead the process because you've been so conditioned that men are chivalrous and men lead and you have to be in your feminine and you lean back so he can chase and he can claim you. That's a crock of shit. Human beings are complex, men and women are like. And so when you understand the complexity from within yourself, you can begin to make better choices. And this isn't all about leaning back and being in your feminine. This is about leaning in to your sovereignty, leaning into who you are and what you genuinely want in a relationship. Because here's the thing, you're not crazy. You're not crazy. You just may not have a filter and that's because you haven't reined it in for yourself, but you're not crazy. And men aren't assholes. They're just bad at the dating process is all. And this is because nobody is doing this work on themselves. And if you've been, by the way, is my content resonating with you? Is this sinking in? Please post a comment. Let me know if this is working. I do appreciate those of you that binge much my videos. Thank you so much. I really am with gratitude appreciate that. All right, look, you're not crazy. You're perfect just the way you are. Just become better. Both of you become better and that's my invitation for you. Better is not even the right word, but just happier, inner peace. That's what I mean by better, happier and inner peace. All right, you get the gist of where I'm going. All right, uh, check out the links below as I mentioned. And I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera and give you a hug of love. If that's okay, I'm gonna ask you to turn to somebody and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch and wishing you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.